everyone, I'm Diana Dahlgren and you're watching my shoot here and make sure to stay tuned at fitnessrxwomen.com. Hello everyone, I am Diana Dahlgren, a former IFBB bikini pro and a fitness fanatic, I guess you would say. Um, so there was a couple different things that I did to get ready for this cover shoot here today. For my eight weeks, I did a moderate diet. I didn't drop below 1,700 calories, and I did not cut out any type of food group. So I ate dairy, I ate cheese. If I was having a sugar craving, I had a little bit of some ice cream, you know, a serving. And uh, I just kept my protein high. And then for my fitness regimen, I would lift heavy. I'm very into lifting heavy and squatting a lot i do i do complete squat workouts so i'll go into a gym for an hour and, and only do squat sets the entire hour and then i lift heavy on my upper body and i do a few sprinting sessions per week when i want to lose weight so when i travel i tend to do uh, sprinting a lot more than i do heavy weightlifting, just because you're in and out of hotels there's not really weights there so on those days, usually it's the weekend, three, three days out of the week, I would take my fat burners and I would take my nighttime fat burners five days out of the week. So it, my body always got somewhat of a little bit of a break. Then I took my AML pre-workout as well. Uh, I take my AML pre-workout about 20 minutes before going to the gym. I only drink half of it before going to the gym and I finish the, the second half while I'm working out so that I don't have any type of um, crashes or I, I start to get low on energy. So that's how I, I always take my pre-workout supplement. Right when I decided to retire in competing, I uh, got a hold of a man by the name of Lane Norton. He's my coach still to today. And he is very much so into heavy lifting and flexible dieting. So I started trying out his approach and here I am today. So I think for anybody who wants to feel good, wants to look good, wants to enjoy life, wants to be able to go out to eat and not feel guilty, wants to be able to have bread and not feel like they're not dieting or feel like, you know, they're breaking rules or enjoy a serving of ice cream. Um, that, that is who will enjoy my program and the approach that I take now with flexible dieting. I always just make sure to keep my protein high. Um, with protein shakes and you know chicken eggs and, and steaks my favorite and um, I just make sure that I lift a couple times a week you know sometimes I get busy with work you know I'm booked back to back to back and I can't get in a solid and stable training regimen so for this eight weeks specifically very busy building a bar um, doing my super cross appearances the season already kicked off, and then I've been announcing a whole lot too for Fox Sports and CBS. So um, it's been a whirlwind of, of a busy schedule, but I just keep it intact because I get up first thing in the morning, I, I get my butt out the door, go work out, and if I'm gone for a couple weeks and there's not a, a gym, like how when I was in Mexico, there was no gym, I just did sprints outside in the wash. and. It worked for me for those couple weeks that I was gone. I came home and then I got back on my lifting. My biggest piece of advice for you ladies is learn how to eat in moderation. Learn what your macronutrients are and what the purpose of each one is, which is your proteins, your carbohydrates, and your fats. Learn how to utilize them. And really don't be afraid of heavy lifting because my body has burned all the fat off of it and gotten in shape because of heavy lifting and not doing hours of cardio. So don't be afraid to lift the weights, girls, lift them heavy. And um, don't think that bread and, and sugars are the devil because having them in moderation is not an issue at all.